Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, raw review. Starts off with Triple H and Stephanie McMahon disrespecting the fans. Triple H, you don't get who you are. <laughs> Fuck you. How disrespectful. When the company fucks over their customers, when the customers get pissed off, you don't see COOs or CEOs of companies coming out, so my dick fans, shut my dick customers, or who cry. What a bunch of idiots. Is the company ran by trolls? Is it internet trolls running this company? Here we go, make them rage. Yeah, we made them rage. What a bunch of dummies. Straight up, Daniel Bryan comes out, and this whole thing is damage control. It is not a work, in my opinion. I'm going to talk about this right after there. Daniel Bryan comes out, cutting a decent promo. He's asking to be put in the chamber match. You know? And right off the bat, Triple H calls the shield. You know, that's right there. Fans want redemption. Let's have Brian get attacked three on one by the shield. Fuck you. Is there anything else that they can do? It's been six months, Brian jobbing to the shield there. Move on. Give us something good for once. Give us a good show where we don't get fucked for once. Could that be possible? Sheamus comes out to save Brian, okay, and then Cena, John Cena, I'm gonna save you, Brian. I'm gonna get popular off of your stuff. Comes out to save Brian. So then it's Shield against Cena, Orton, uh, Cena, Sheamus, Brian, and the winner gets to to go in the elimination chamber. I wonder who's gonna win this one. Three main eventers against three young guys that are, are obviously not going to win. This is called lazy booking there. <laughs> a six-man tag and the winners just go in the chamber. No good matches, no tournament-like shit to qualify. Just the same fucking match that we've had for the last six months. Winners go in the chamber. Fucking crap. Lazy booking, okay? And in regards to this being a work there, Batista coming back as a face, you think it was a work to have him booed the fuck out of the building? Ain't no fucking work. Batista, a face, getting pissed off at the fans, saying fuck you to the fans. You think that's a work? Fred Durst gave the finger, I don't remember at which pay-per-view, and the company started crying. They don't allow wrestlers to give the fingers to the fans there. Batista giving the finger to the fans, him being angry, that shows that they weren't expecting the whole crowd to revolt against them. Wasn't a fucking work. This is called damage control. They weren't planning to have all the audience turn on them. Ray Merch Stereo, you think they wanted him to get booed out of the building? Of course, this is not a fucking work. You think that straight up? Batista face saying fuck you, which is against the rules. It's all a work. Get the fuck out of here. Wasn't the word. This is called damage control. First match, the Real Americans defeated Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara. And I enjoyed the ending of this match. The, the, the match itself with Sin Cara doing luchador moves. Garbage. Looked fake as fuck and Sin Cara doesn't look right. He looks cheap now. What the fuck? I can't stand the new Sin Cara. He disgusts me for God's sakes. But near the end of the match, Cesaro fucking... Bah! Here, get the fuck out. 
so I enjoyed that part there. Second match, our troop beat Fandango. Garbage match, throwaway match. Match that doesn't mean jack fucking shit, okay? Then we had a, a segment with Orton, Batista, and Brock Lesnar. I thought to myself, fucking right, finally, Brock Lesnar, Batista in the same ring. Shit might be good tonight there. And then Brock says he wants to fight either Orton or Batista. And I got excited. Damn it, we're finally getting a real match on Raw. Brock, a Brock Lesnar match on Raw. Finally. And then we got no match. Huh? None. The fuck is that? The fuck is it? For like an hour, they were falsely advertising a match on Raw just to keep fans interested in the show. And in the end, we, we had no match. It's a work. It's all a work. They pretend to have a good show, and it's a garbage show. What a great work. It's awesome. Fuck off. Okay, straight up fuck. Third match, Dolph Ziggler beat The Miz in the Battle of Cleveland. This was the Battle of Boredom, is what it was. Just boring garbage. Ziggler winning with his cheap finish. I wasn't into this at all. Fourth match, The Usos defeated Ryback and Axel. Woo! Woohoo! Then at the end, they started dancing and shit. Fail! Big boring fail! Fuck! Is it all only garbage? Fourth match, Alberto Del Rio defeated Kofi Kingston. Acceptable match, I guess. They have Kofi Kingston there for the last two, three weeks. He beat Randy Orton, then he keeps jumping. What's the point? What's the fucking point? They make him beat the champ, then he jobs the smaller guys. You know, what's the point here? None. Fifth match, the Rhodes defeated the Outlaws by DQ because Lesnar came out to attack the Rhodes' brothers with a chair because he didn't get the match that he wanted. Fuck off, you know? They falsely advertise Lesnar against Batista or Orton, you know? It garners a bit of interest. Yeah, it's going to be a good match. Him coming out to hit jobbers with chairs does not compare to that. Apparently, he attacked them because he didn't get the matches or whatever. That's not good. That's trash. <laughs> you know, it's shit like this. Telling the fans they're going to get a Lesnar match. Then he comes out to beat up wrestlers that people like. What is this? Why not have a Lesnar match? Why not put on a good show? What's the point? It's sick. In the sixth match, the Bellas and the Funkadactyls defeated AJ, Tamina, Oksana, and Alicia Fox in a garbage, pathetic match. It doesn't matter that you feel like blowing your fucking brains out because you feel like a virgin for watching this boring ass program. And a match fucking sucked, okay? Then they told us Jake Roberts was in the Hall of Fame. All right, good for him. Too bad I feel like breaking my fucking television. You know, while seeing Jake, I'm happy for him there, but this is just pathetic. Brian, Cena, and Sheamus defeat the Shield by DQ. <laughs> Talk about a waste of time. Three guys qualify for the chamber because they win by disqualification because of the Wyatts or whatever. I think this show fucking sucked. I passed out during the last match. <laughs> so, you know, personally, I thought most of the matches were boring garbage and it was just a big letdown. Triple H mocking fans. Them fucking fans with fake Brock Lesnar matches. Then you get a DQ finish. You know, here's Daniel Bryan. He qualifies by disqualification. 
It's all big work, man. It's all work. Fuck, Rod. Right. Sucked. Till next time. Peace.